Hi, I'm Cyber Art. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm drawing my D&D character, Ron Landreda, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, her backstory and all things like that. So if you're interested, keep watching. I did this drawing on Procreate, and it's my drawing process from the beginning, like sketches to ideas I had about what she was wearing, what her hair looks like, to the very end of choosing the colors and things like that. I have a... Um, well, I just had up on the screen a mood board and I kind of started with that for this character. So she is a circle of spores druid and she is a drow. So a little bit about what a drow is, what the circle of spores druid is for people that don't know. So a drow is a dark elf pretty much from this region in Faerun um, called the Underdark. And they're not really seen like above ground, I guess, but they're all from the Underdark. There's this whole war with elves and drow. And anyway, they belong to the Underdark. They kind of have like key characteristics that I kind of like, I wanted to stay in the lines of because I wanted it to, I wanted her to look like a drow, obviously. And I kind of built this entire like aesthetic in my mind about what this character embodies like can you tell what her class and what her race is off the bat and I wanted it to be very legible so um drows usually have like purple to gray to almost black type of skin tone so it's like a purple gray black range kind of they can also be like really light purple and things like that and um I think their eyes are almost like pinkish kind of to light purple for um certain types of drows and the other type of drow it is red i'm pretty sure so the difference in these two types of drows is the loth drow which are like they're sworn to this goddess called loth which is a she's she's i'm pretty sure she's like an evil god like i don't think there's any good about this god but she's very um She's, she's like a very scary kind of spider looking god woman and a lot of the drows worship her i think it's kind of by force i'm not sure but um she like you have to go under a lot of trials to be one of those drow and it's very ruthless like very dark um yeah you have to betray people like you're just not a good person if you're a lost drow chances are um and then on the other side of things um in contrast to, to Lolth, there is a Seldarine drow. I'm pretty sure it's Seldarine. So it's really the drows that um, don't believe in what Lolth is about. They are Seldarine drows. And I think there's a difference in their looks with their eyes. I'm not sure if that was just like a Baldur's Gate thing. Um, Ronalyn, which is not really her exact name. She has two names, but I'll get into that in a bit. She was originally a Lolth drow, but she was more than just a Lolth drow. She was um very close to loth as like loth's warrior loth's like right hand very close like there's a close relationship there with loth and a lot of the drow knew who ron lynn was um in the underdark like she's known and um she wasn't really a, a good person obviously and um being loth's drow there came a time where there was a battle or a war in her backstory where she had fallen in battle um but it's very ruthless and none of the drow really helped her or realized or picked her up um it's kind of like you're you fall you're useless keep it going at least in this story so um when she fell in battle um she nearly died but she got miraculously saved by another drow who was a Seldarine drow who ended up sparing her life and this drow was a cleric of Seldarine so from that point on when um Ronlin woke up she swore to be a Seldarine drow you know not really by force but almost feeling like she wouldn't have been alive had it not been for that drow cleric that saved her that day on the battlefield and so um she escaped from the underdark 
it went above ground because I actually stayed in the underdark and disrespected and went behind like backstabbed Loth and other Loth warriors or Loth Drow found out um Ronlin would have been definitely killed so she left and went above ground and so she's kind of on the run from a lot of drow any drow that would come up in this campaign she needs to either hide herself or cross her fingers that they don't know who she is but i doubt it because they would know who she is though the drow do think she either died or disappeared because her body wasn't found anymore on the ground after this battle so they don't really know what happened to her where she went or if she was dead some believe she's dead some don't um but if she's seen um hopefully she wouldn't be noticed she definitely looks different than what she did when she was lost drow but you can see the difference here in her eyes she has one red eye and one green eye i chose green just because i feel like it contrasted better with the rest of everything you know going on with her outfit and such but the one red eye was remnants of her being a loth drow and then the green eye is the part that reawakened with her with the seldarine drow um yeah so i think that other drows that would see that would definitely question what's going on there you know and so yeah so she is a circle of spores druid which i was debating her being that or uh, circle of the land i think it's called but for the underdark but i think the circle of spores just added more character and uniqueness to her instead of just being like a druid of the land from the underdark of the underdark and so it's all about like fungal things and decay and i thought a lot about mushrooms and kind of the luminescence type of colors in the underdark like there is like a glow in the dark type of feel there and i wanted to kind of keep her outfit look keep keep her outfit looking dark but i wanted like her purples to stand out and um things like that and have like rich colors like a rich blue a rich green in her outfits and you can see there's like little bottles that I painted over on the side that I'm going to be coloring in soon. But they are, they're like potions that she collects, that she makes. She loves like making potions and collecting potions. Um, that's just a little hobby she picked up while, you know, um, being above ground and not in the underdark. Um, also she has like a staff I made like her druid staff which has mushrooms on it I don't know if you can tell I was on a hike the other day and I seen on like a wood log it had these like white mushrooms just coming out of the wood log and I thought it was so cute and I thought like what would that look like on a wooden staff so I, I did that. I feel like I could have added more greenery, but then I'm also thinking like it's circle of spores. I don't know how much green, greenery I should involve in it, but yeah, I just kind of kept it more of a simple design uh, for this. So yeah, I think I want to keep her um, chaotic neutral. I, I don't want her to be like completely good or completely bad but i definitely think she would make some like questionable decisions here or there i feel like she would be one to steal a few things to take a few things if she sees something pretty she does like little pretty knickknacks and stuff like that um she ultimately just wants to have a quiet little life you know after really being on the run but i think she may have to face her past in this campaign or come to terms with what she was and who she was you know as all you know stories go in Dungeons and Dragons I was telling my boyfriend about my character here and he kind of said it reminded him of Shadowheart from Baldur's Gate 3 and it is similar to her story though I did not know her full story because she left my game when I played it she left my party I did not know that my choice would choices would make her leave so i didn't really know but yeah it's the same kind of idea of um finding 
like a character finding their place in their religion and yeah that sort of thing but just like the decay of um fungus and spores and things like that Ronlin sees the beauty in the cycle of life and things like that so I think her being a circle of spores tree wood was so fitting just like her class she has a way of reinventing her life and beginning a new cycle and I'm really excited to play with this character it is one of two characters I have right now in um for Dungeons and Dragons of ones that I've played other than my Baldur's Gate characters um but yeah she also to mention she does have another name because she was one of Lothstrow I did not mention that before that she did have a different name um but she has to obviously abandon that name because she is on the run <laughs> so yeah I hope you enjoyed this speed paint and thanks for watching bye